Evening everybody, Rich here, back for another Minecraft ship tutorial, and today this is my tugboat tutorial, or fully tug tutorial. It's a, it's a fictionalized or a fictional class of tug that I've created. It's kind of a box standard tug really, but I called it the Forley class, because why not? Uh, so here's what we're going to be building today. We're going to do the whole thing in one video, and it is a tilly thing. You sort of get an idea how small this thing is, because there's Aquitania there. And uh, here's our tug. So this is also the box standard one. I did when I did the preview video of this tug, or this type of tug. There were different variations, different specifications. This is the box standard version, because um, uh, what you can do, you can add extra bits to the back end here. On like I did on mine, there was an extra deck or overhang or sort of um, cargo area sort of thing. So or turn it into a tender thing, uh, sort of thing. So this is sort of the box standard bare chassis version if you know what I mean so this is what we're going to be building today a few specifications of the day of the uh, tug we're going to be building the length is 93 blocks and the width is 19 and the keel is 84 blocks and if you're going to be building the ship in the water the keel you're going to be building that uh, six blocks below the surface I think I think that's about right yeah six blocks below the surface will do so there we are, there's our keel. Now the scale of this thing, like I say, is 93 blocks long, so it's double scale of the average tug, because my Minecraft scales vary. Um, so why I upscale things is like this. So that thing over there is 70% bigger than the real Aquitania. This thing here is double scale, so it keeps the scale ratio between them just about right. So still have a big ship and a tugboat there. So there's what we're going to be building. So I've laid the keel already, and I'm going to try and do the whole hull in one take. So I don't do jump cuts and things like that so here's our keel like I say it's 84 blocks long and you're going to build this below uh, six blocks below the surface so for the start of the keel we're going to start on block number six so one two three four five six so we'll start on block six and we want a row of four one two three four and then three rows of five one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five and then six one two three four five six and then 32, so it's 3, 2, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. I'll just measure that again because I did cough in the middle of that one. So that's 32, there we are. So at the end of the 32, we curve inwards, we want a row of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 6 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, there we go, and then you should have 7 blocks of keel sticking out the back, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, there we go, so I should quickly do the other side, so we want uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and in 32, I won't bother measure, uh, counting it, I'll just measure it and compare it to the other side. So it's 32, and then it was 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go, there's our base plate done. So that's a very narrow tug at the moment, but that's fine because we're going to be uh, modifying that now. So we'll go to the front now. So that's both sides done anyway. Go to the front of the 32 now. And on the front of the 32 we're going to build out 2, 2, like that, so 2, 2, and then back 2, and then up 2 and 1 like that. So that's the front of the 32. Do the same on the other side. So we go out 2, 2, back 2, up 2, and 1 out like that. So there we are, there's the ship slightly wider. And then at the back of the 32, we're going to build out two, two, up two, one, like that. And then the same on the other side. So out, out two, out two, up two, one, like that. And there we go. So there's the ship slightly wider. Now we just need to join all the blocks together. So from these end blocks on the end, build them all the way out, or forward, or whatever, whichever direction they're going. To take a little bit of time to do. I'm trying to do this without any jump well, I can do jump cuts, just not uh, huge ones. I'm going to do as much of the ship as I can. So I'm not going to build one half and then do a jump cut and do the other half, you know what I mean? I'm going to try and do everything as much as I can. 
See, there's one side done of that. I just quickly do the other side. And I will try and not use world edit as much as I can, but can't be helped if I do. I think if I come to doing the deck, I probably will do the <laughs> do a bit of world edit. We'll just get these bits, side bits in first. And then the last row down there. And there we go, there's our ship made slightly wider. It looks a bit odd at the moment, it looks like it's got wings at the moment. But that is how that looks just now, so bear with me while I check my notes. Okay, quick jump cut there, had to restart the server. So what I'm going to do now is to add the signs. And I know I did say I'm not going to do many jump cuts, but I'm going to do one side of the ship and then do the other side during a jump cut, like I normally do for my videos. But what we're going to do now is just going to quickly add the signs. So you don't have to do these, but these are just a guide for me, really. So we'll do section 0 on the front there, and then we'll do section 1, section 1, section 2, section 2, and so on. So i just do one side for the minute. So section 2, section 3 section 4, section 5, section 6 will be there, section 7 above that, section 8 above that, and then section 9 will be up there like so. So that's one side of the signs done, so you do the same on the other side. And I'll just quickly do the back end as well, so do section 0 at the back end, and one side I'll do for the minute, so that's section 1, and then 2, and then 3, and then four, and then five, oops, five, and then six, seven, double seven, and then eight, and then nine, like that. So there we are. So there's one side of all the signs done. So like I say, do the same on the other side, and then you should be able to do things quite easily. This is probably be a, a quite an easy build to do both sides at the same time. Once again, I'm just going to work on the left, but it's easier to do one section one, then section one, section two, then section two, section three, section three, so on. So follow it that way if you want to. But I'm going to build the hull up on one side now anyway. So what we'll do now is section zero. Uh, in red, we're going to build forward three. So one, two, three, and then two, two rows of two, 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 and then up three, one, two, three, and one, and then in black. Uh, we go up 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then in white up 2 like that, there we go. So that's section 0 done. And now we move on to number 1, and for number 1 we want in red forward 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, forward 2 and forward 2, and then up 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1. <laughs> And then in black we go up three, one, two, three, and up seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then in white up two like that. There you go. And then we move on to section two, like so. Section two we want forward two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then two rows of two, one, two, one, two, up two, one, two, and one like that. And then in black up two, one, two, up three, one, two, three up six one two three four five six and then in white one like that so there's only a few blocks of white so that's all fine now move on to section three in the section three we want forward five one two three four five and then four one two three four and then two one two two again one two two again one two and one like that <laughs> and then in black we go forward two one two and then up two, one, two, up three, one, two, three, and then up five, one, two, three, four, five, and then in white, one, again like that, there we go. And the black should start to curve down, as you can see the hull does change in height quite a bit, so it goes, sort of goes down the stairs as you go further back, until it's only about three blocks high at the back, so, or four blocks, so that's that. So that's the uh, section three done, so now move on to section four. And for section four, we go in black, uh, in red, sorry, forward two rows of five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Four rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then in black, up two. One, two. And then up three rows of three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, like that. There we go. So that's down one block. I can't really tell, but there you go. That's how it is. Now we move on to. 
I really should have moved this elsewhere because that ship in the background is really distracting. Now move on to number five. We have a section five in red. We want forward five, uh, two rows of five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then three. One, two, three. And then three rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then a black forward, two rows of two. One, two, one, two. And then up two. One, two. Up two rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And there we go, that's that one done in height there. So that's section five. Now we move on to number six. And for number six, we want to remove this block here. Bonk. And replace that with a row of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then five. One, two, three, four, five. Two rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then two rows of two. One, two, one, two. And then in black, we want forward four rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, one, two, and then up three, one, two, three, like that. There we go. So that was section six done. Now move on to number seven. On. Uh, for number seven, we want in red to remove that block there and replace that with a row of six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we want three rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two. And then in black we want forward four rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, one, two. And then up three, one, two, three. And then on the top of that, at the back, behind the top block, we go back two. One, two, like that. There we go, so that's fine. Current tab, there it goes, it's the top there, you just go back two, like that. Now we move on to number eight. For number eight, we want in red forward Four rows of three, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then in black, forward five rows of two, so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, like that. And then up two, one, two, like that. And there we go, so that's changing height like that. And now we move on to number nine. So in number nine, we want in red, forward four, so one, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, three. And then in black, we want forward uh, three, one, two, three. And then two rows of two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, one, two. And then up three, one, two, three. And then behind the top block, we go back three, one, two, three, like that. There you go. So that would be that section there. So that's as high as it goes on that point. So that was section nine done on the front of the ship. And I'm going to say you can't bloody see because that should be the background there but that's how it should look anyway. So then you can start adding all the bits on the inside. So we're going to start filling in all the gaps now. So I don't normally do all this in screen but in my night it's a small ship we can do the whole thing. So just fill in all the gaps like so. And build the other side as well if you want to. So just do the white blocks there and just fill in the rest. Like so. Very easy little ship this is. I, I love doing these little tugs. Bit of a pain in the ass to write down for the tutorial, but that's the way it is. We're just filling all the gaps. And then we can move on to the back. You can see that, well, that, that those two blocks are just added at the back there. They go back like that. That's the height of the hull, like so. So you just fill in the gaps underneath. That's all fine. So then when you move on to the next row, just fill in the gaps between them as well. And there we go. There's what we have so far. So that's one side done like that, and that's all filled in. And it don't look too bad. So that's one half of the front done. So what I'll do now is I'll do a quick uh, do a quick jump cut while I uh, do the other side, and then we can move on to the back end of the ship. So uh, yeah, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's the hull done on both sides now, and it should look something like that. Nothing really special, but that's how it is. So what we're going to do now is go to the back of the ship and do the same again. But this is slightly lower this time because you can see on the prototype the back of the ship is much lower. So that's 
all fine. So I'm going to start at section 0 again and work on one side, but you can do both sides at the same time. So section 0 in red, we want to go up 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 like that, and we'll just double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like that. And then in black, we go on top forward 2. 1, 2, forward 3. 1, 2, 3, forward 2. 1, 2, and then 1 like that. And then in white, one like that. There you go. So that's the overhang of our stern. Can't really see because of the bloody ship in the background. But there you go. There's the shape of the stern. Now we move on to section one. And for section one, we want in red forward five. One, two, three, four, five. And then uh, two rows of two. One, two, one, two. And then up three. One, two, three, and one like that. And then in black forward two. One, two, one, two. Forward three, one, two, three, forward two, one, two, and one, and then in white, one again like that. So it's more or less the same design. Now move on to section two, 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 two. Section two in red, we want forward two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then two rows of two, one, two, one, two, and then up two, one, two, and one again, and then in black. We go forward two, one, two, four, forward three, one, two, three, forward two, one, two, and one, and then in white, one again. So it's more or less the same design. And then move on to section three. For section three in red, we want forward two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then two, one, two, and then three, one, two, three, and then two rows of two, one, two, one, two. And then in black, we want forward two, one, two, and then three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, and one, like that. And then in white, one, like that. I think that's about right, isn't it? No, it's not, is it? Hang on, two, three. I don't think that is right. Let me just double check that because I think I may have poo pooed that one. So, what section do we want? Section three. So, section one, two, three. So, section is. So, we want. Oh, I see. Section three would be five, four. Okay, I f fluffed that up. Okay, I knew I'd pull this up. Okay, I shall take this all down again. Okay, okay. So for section three, we want five. So one, two, three, four, five, and then four. One, two, three, four, and then two. One, two, and then three. One, two, three, and then two, two, and then a black two. And then three, one, two, three, and then two and one, and then one white on top like that. Apologies for that. I do tend to screw things up. Bear with me while I just check my notes again. I want to make sure I get this right. <sighs> all right. Well, anyway, I move on now to part uh, section four, and hopefully this will all go right. So for se <laughs> section four in red, we want forward four, one, two, three, four, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then three, one, two, three. And then two, one, two, and then three, one, two, three, and then two again, one, two. And then in black, forward three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three. And then two, one, two, and one, like that. And then in white, one, like that. Actually, that's about right, isn't it? That is. Now we move on to section five. And for section five, I'm going to talk a bit slower as well. So for section five, we want forward six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then four. One, two, three, four. And then four rows of three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then in black, we want forward two rows of three. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. And then two, one, two, and one. And then in white, one, like that. Marvellous. So that was section f uh, 5. Now we're on to section 6. So for section 6, we want to remove this block here and replace that with two rows of 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then four rows of 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And then in black, forward two rows of 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And then two, one, two, and one like that. And then in white, one like that. Marvellous. And I think after that we want to build one uh, on the end of that white block, put another white block behind that, like so, like that. There you go, so it curves 
or back or forward rather so just put the one white block and then another white block behind it there you go so that was section six now we're on to number seven I'm starting to get a really bad headache again <laughs> anyway for number seven we want uh, to remove that block there and replace that with red six so one two three four five six and four one two three four is in three rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then in black, forward, two rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then two rows of two. One, two, one, two, like that. There we go. So that was that one. Now we're on to number eight. So on top of number eight, we remove that block there, just above the sign. And we replace that in red with two rows of four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then two rows of three. One, two, three. Hang on. That ain't right, is it? Wait, it's two rows of three in it. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I looked at the wrong thing. So it's four, four, three, three. And then in black, it is two rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two rows of two. One, two, one, two, like that. There we go. And then we're on to number nine. And for number nine, we want. In red, forward four, one, one, two, three, four. And in three, one, two, three. And then in black, forward two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, one, two, and one, like that. There you go. So that is the back half of the ship done, like so. So what we'll do now, just go on the inside and fill in all the gaps. So just fill in the gaps like so, like I did with the uh, the front end. Just fill in. The red and the black bits, white bits there. I do the red bits first, man. Well, saves a bit of time. There's the red, oh, red almost filled in, and then just do the black bits. and then the white bit at the top like that there we go so there's the side filled in or the, the back end filled in it should look something like that so looking at it from the back you've got a nice little curve going on there and it don't look too bad so the next job to do next job to do is just fill in the side and it's just two layers of red so just do the red going from front to back So, and then the four layers of black. So, just do one side at a time. Well, actually, the other side I do it. I do it a jump cut when I do the other side. I just do this one side for the minute. So, the black should go all the way forward. If you're going from the back end, go all the way forward. And then the top line, which will be the next line, will fit right underneath. Yeah, I was trying to work out how this goes actually. I've not actually filled this out. So fill in the black so far from the back end all the way forward. And you will have a couple of ridges at the, at the side here. So I've not actually calculated where those go in yet. So just bear with me. So there we go. So there's the back end. So you build the back end all the way forward level with the front end. I'll build it all the way to level anyway. And you will have this four blocks over, uh, hanging over the top like that. So from those four blocks, we want to add. So under the four blocks, we want to add. I've not written this down, so bear with me. So under these the four blocks, which are these, we go and add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's twelve and then eleven. So I do the same over here. So underneath this row of four, we add the twelve. One, two. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then and underneath that, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There we go. So you really can't tell how this is meant to look because there's so much in the bloody way, but there you go. So you've got the row of 4, add 12 underneath, and then underneath that, add 11. And then in that gap, just fill all that in. Like so, and there you go. There's one side of the tug done. I really should have sort of <laughs> done a rehearsal of this, but never mind. So what I'll do now, I'll quickly do the other side, doing a jump cut, 
and then uh, we shall move on. So, uh, back at a moment. Okay, back again. So there's the hull done on both sides, and it should look something like that. I've not done the uh, the 11 and 12 row on the side there, but I just want to get this shown there like so. So, like I was saying, the uh, the side on the that we've done, not done on that side, not done on this side yet, because I want to go through it again. So there's the row of four that overhangs at the back there. So underneath that, I just wanted to add that 12 again. So underneath one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then the eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, like that. And then we just fill in the gap like so. And what I've done over in the distance is I've added. I've, I've actually built the same thing again, but all in white. So here's the same thing. So just to give you an idea on how it all looks. So there's the same thing in white. So you can see how the design goes. So if you just want to have a quick look at that, so you can sort of see how everything is. So there's the front end done, and then down the back end, it should all look something like that. So that is how. So like I said, I've just replaced the black with white, just so you can see how the hull shape is, because the black is just impossible to see with. There you go. There's the hull, how it should look in white. So you can do we can do one in white as well if you want to, but there you go. So that's how that is. And so. That is our tug hull done right now. So the next job we want to do basically is just fill in the floor, which is all red. So you don't have to do this now, you can do it later on, but I'll do it now. So we just do fill 251. No, it's actually not 251, is it? It's 15914 by 200. And that's one side done. And then the other side done like that. So there we are. So there's the hull all filled in and complete. I will do the propellers and lifeboat, or propellers and rudder later on but we're just going to focus on the main thing but I'm going to do another jump cut now because this thing is really lagging and then we shall move on to the deck and the superstructure so uh, back in a moment okay back again so what we're going to do now is move on to the ship's deck which is uh, a sloopy affair so we're going to go right, right onto the inside of the hull and it's going to go down about uh, five tiers maybe six tiers so we're going to go to the inside at the top of the bow, inside the front of the ship, and on the top of the uh, the top black block, we're going to build from there. So we're going to build the center line of the deck, and then build each section as we go. So we're going to build five back from the top. So in uh, with wood, go back one, two, three, four, five like that. And then underneath that, we want eleven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then underneath that, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Underneath that, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then underneath that, 11 again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then underneath that, we build all the way to the back. So it goes down five tiers, and this is the bottom tier. So this just goes right the way to the back of the ship now. And this should be the top of the black at the stern. And there we go. So there we are. There's the center line of our deck done. You can see how much it slopes down. So that is. How our deck is. So what we'll do now, we'll go from each section. I just want to build each section out. So from the top, the end of the first row of five, build out to each side, like so, and then add a black block on the end because this is where the hull attaches, like so. So add a black block there, and then just fill in each section like so, and then the next row along, the end of the first eleven, build out to the side like so, like that, and then fill in that space there, and then down to the next row. Build that one out to the side like so, and then the other side as well. Fill in that space there, and then the same for the next rows. This is an awfully exciting job, but there you go. There you go, and then the, just carry on doing the same all the way along. So do the same for the next row, and then the next other side like that, and then the rest of the ship would just be one flat deck. So this is how your decks will be laid out. So I shall do, I'll do the first couple and then we can uh, jump cut the rest, just to save a bit of time. So just trying to work out that the, the superstructure will sit on the second row of 11, so this first section will be uh, all bare, just with a few mechanical parts I think, like uh, a mech and some chains I think. There you go, there's the first deck done. I'll, I'll just I'll start the next one. Like so, you just want to carry on the same process. All the way around. And I'm 
really having a hard time doing this tutorial because it's small ships are easy to build but when you're trying to do a tutorial from it's just confusing but uh, there we go so there's one side of the next deck you just carry on the same process for all the sections so the whole deck will be eventually be covered so get all those sloped bits in place and then we can move on so um uh, yeah I'm not doing my uh, policy very well of not doing any jump cuts but to hell with it anyway I should do a jump cut now finish that off and then we should move on so uh, back in a moment okay back again so there's the deck all added and the ship should look something like that can't really get an idea on how sloopy it is but you know how it is you can see it just like that right what we're going to do now is work on the first part of the superstructure the lower well the bottom bottom section and the deck above it so we're going to go down to the second row of 11 so we've got the five and it's 11 and 11 so on the second row of 11 which will be down here and i think the center block i've got to work out where the center blocks are so i'll put center blocks in as well just so i know where the centers are of each section let me just put these in quickly so there we go, so there's the centre blocks in, so what, what I was saying, I want to go down to the second row of 11, so it's 5 and then 11, and then onto the second row of 11, so the first 11's there, just behind that you want to go back one block to that point there, so there we go, so it's 5, 11, and then one block, and then the, the front wall of the superstructure, so they put the, put the centre block there like that, and then build it three wide like so, we're going to focus on the bottom foundation first, so it's three wide like that, and then we want to go out uh, three, one, two, three, and two, like that. Same the other side out, one, two, three, and two. So there's the front wall like that. And then for the sides we want back two, and then twenty-eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, like that. So there we go, so there's the foundation there. Do the same on the other side, so it's back uh, 2 and then 28. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, like that. So there's our foundation, then across the back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, like that. I put a center block on the back. There we go. So there's our foundation. You can see it goes. It's 28 long on the sides, but it does dip down by two blocks, as it or three blocks rather, as it goes along the sides. So that's as long as that side is 28, it should look fine. So now we're going to do the front wall, which is going to be uh, I think it's four high. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, build it four high. So just the front wall. So build it to four high, like so. Just this front pole, and then we're going to add two wood blocks on the centre, so front centre build two wood blocks forward like that and then a white block like so and that creates the overhang of the front so the rest of the walls leave for now but the front wall like that yeah so like I said the front wall four high two wood blocks like that and then we're going to build uh, the front we're going to build out uh, four rows of two so build out two 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 like that so it's four rows of two out like that I did the same on the other side so it's out two 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 like two like that there you go so it's sort of a sort of v-shape like that so it's five wide in total on the front followed by three rows of two like that and then we're going to build along the side uh, just, we've got to work this one out properly so I build two back so build back two like that and then seven one two three four five six seven like that and then underneath that, we're going to follow the contour now. I'm going to follow the contours of the deck. So underneath that row of seven, we want to build back 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then underneath that, we want 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Like so. And then we build inwards. 5. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then a centre block like so. So that creates the overhang of the top deck so I'll just go and do the other side quickly so we'll add the two back from the rows of two so back two and then seven one one two three four five six seven and then underneath that was thirteen one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and then under that was twelve and that's so a one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then inwards five one two three four five there we go so there's the 
top deck or deck of the deck house done and then what we're going to do now before we build the inside walls up we're just going to add the deck on the inside here so just going to if we, if we what i'll do i'll add the deck around the outside or inside of the overhang or inside of the top deck so just build the deck on the inside of the white line all the way around following the contours of the up and downy bit doesn't make it a bit easier so just build this all the way around first so like I say, just build it all the way around doesn't matter if it overlaps by a block uh, the, the wood as long as you fill in like so there you go there's the outside line filled in with wood on the inside like so so this just makes it a bit easier for when we build the build the inside wall so the, the walls underneath these are the inside walls down here now you could build these walls up to attach to the bottom of the wood so you build them up like so because I, I decided to build the top deck first because the because the walls down here are all different heights so it's best to build the top first so now we know how high the walls need to be so I do one side like so like that and then the next row like so There we go, there's one side done like that, you can see the top deck and the walls sit quite nicely. So I just do the other side quickly as well. So where are we? There we go. So it just makes life a little bit easier. So the first time building this sort of tug with this I've built many tugs in the past, but the first time building one with this sort of overhang on this sort of deck, because the deck being slopy as it is, does make life very difficult for this sort of thing. So, you know. Thought I'd just go ahead and do uh, this sort of technique, and it's worked out, I think, quite well. So, like I said, just get these walls done. Like so, and then across the back, this is just a straight wall, which is all fine. And there we go. So, there's that uh, area done like that. You can start adding the deck in here as well. So, this whole area now you can fill in with wood. So, you just carry on filling this hole in like so. I won't bother doing the whole thing because it'd just be here all day otherwise. Yeah, I probably could do the whole thing, but you know what I mean. So there's there's the first bit done. So just carry on doing the whole thing. And then the rest of the the, uh, the deck or deck house you can just add doors and windows. So we're gonna put um, three windows across the front, like so, see so three windows there, and then I put a window on the side along the row there, and then we put a pair of doors, and then with our doors, door, 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 doors, put a pair of doors there, and then just put, how do I do it on the prototype, so it's window, 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 window. so what I'll do, we'll put single windows, so I'll put f double windows on the front, and then for the rest of the side of the ship we'll just put double windows, every third block I think one two three fourth block maybe no okay third block every three blocks and how many doors did I do that's fine just put a door at the end so just put windows every sort of three blocks all the way along just put a final door there like that and there you go. there's your side done like that it's nothing it's, it's nothing really special in terms of design I'm just doing things randomly but you know how it is, I just do this side quickly as well. Is it single doors? I put single doors on the prototype, but I put double doors on this one, why not? So I just put windows every three blocks. Double door there actually. Can I put a double door there and then one on the other side, which I didn't do? This is all improv, by the way. I'm just improving as we go. There we are. So there's our doors and windows added, done there. Added and done, done, did it done there. And then that don't look too bad. So that's that bit done. So what I'll do now, I'll quickly do a jump cut while I fill in the rest of this, and then we shall move on to the next bit, which will be two deck houses. And then we can move on from there. So um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's the deck all added, and now we're going to move on to the uh, ship's wheelhouse and the other deck house. So we're going to go to the front of the overhang of the top deck here, 
and we're going to go to the fourth blo uh, fourth block back on the wood. So one, two, three, four, and we'll start building there. So this will be the front of our wheelhouse. So there's going to be three wide, so three wide like so, and then you want to go out two and two each side, so two and two. So you've got a shape like that, and then back two, one two, and then back eight, so <coughs> back eight. So one two three four five six seven eight. Same so again the other side, back two and then eight. One two three four five five six seven eight, and then across the back like so. And that. So there's your deck, uh, wheelhouse done like so. And it's similar to the deck below, we're going to build the front wall only. This front row of three, two, uh, three high, I think. So one, two, three, so three high like that. And then on top, we'll add a single wood block like so. And then a center block behind that like that. So it creates an, over an overhang by a block like so. And then to build out to the side, you want to build one there and then one the other side like that. So it's three wide again, and then you want to build out two rows of two, so out one, two, one, two, and then back two, one, two, and then back four, one, two, three, four, like so, and then underneath that, is that right? Four, uh, possibly five, I think, so that's one, two, three, four. Let me just double check this. So it's back, out two, out two, back two, and then at back four, let's make it five. Like that, it's kind of just trying to follow, make sure it's in contours with the rest of it. So back five like that, and then underneath you want four again. So one, two, three, four. Make it five again. So five like that. So it's five, five, like so, and then build the bottom, build the back down like so. So I do the same on the other side. So it's out two, two, back two, and then back five. One, two, three, four, five, and then underneath that five. One, two, three, four, five, and then down like so and then the walls from the front like so you can build up to the height build them all to three high like so like that so it's easier to do this one because it's a smaller building so just build all the walls to three high now or just build them to the bottom of the overhang we just built so and build the back wall like so and I'll put a centre block as well on the back so we know the centre is there. And the back wall's four high because of the contours of the deck, but there you go, there's the, the, uh, the wheelhouse like so. And then we can start adding the deck as well, so the deck will go inside here. And it's on a, on a slant as well because of how the deck is built. So just build the deck, on, or the roof rather, there's more of a roof than a deck, but build this on the top. And then one block below. There we go, so there's the deck house done like that. And then we can add our windows, so three windows across the front. Or is it one? No, two, sorry, so I put a window there. Like that. And a window there, so yeah, you get your two windows like that. And then I put a door on the side. In there, and then I put a few smaller windows. See, about two or three windows on the side. Actually, that was a window, wasn't it, on the prototype, so that should be a window. Like that, and then a door. Yes, there we go. And then we we'll put another couple of windows along. Put a window there, a window there. These are just sort of me improving. So there we go. So do the same on the other side. Put a window in there, followed by a door, and then a window, and a window. Like that. And there we are. There's our wheelhouse, like so. And it don't look too bad. So the next job I want to do is add a little bit of detail. So one of the details I did, I used a uh, birch fence for the antennas and things. So if we go for the first antenna, it's a short one, to go about four blocks back on the wood on the top of the deck house. So one, two, three, four. And then put a little three post, a three high post like so for the first antenna. And then on the very back of the top part, so go back one, two, three, four behind the first antenna so four behind the first antenna we'll put another one which is going to be uh, seven high so two three three four five six seven and then about two blocks down one two three blocks down build out one each side like that 
there's your first antenna like so and then there's two more antennas behind the deck house so go behind the deck house itself on this back wall corner and we're going to build up uh, about eight from there so build up one two three four attaching to the back so that's four five six six seven eight like that make it nine if you want so there we go so there's that one there same on the other side nine again so one two three four five six seven eight nine like that here's your two antennas there and they don't look too bad so that is deck house number one done and uh, don't look too bad so we're going to move on to the next deck house now so we're going to go uh, from the center block of the first one we're going to go and leave a uh, count to the third block back so there's the first deck house count three blocks back so one two three put our center block and this is basically a rectangle deck house so it's seven wide so one two three that side and one two three that side like that and then the sides are 14 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 same the other side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 across the back like so and then the front wall is three high like so and then for the deck you're going to go from the front the three high so it's four it's four high actually let me just double check that so it's one two three it's three high yeah three high for the minute and then we'll add the fourth block in a minute so it's three high for now so we'll add the deck from the top and the deck's going to go back seven so one two three four five six seven and then underneath that one two three four five six seven and then the back wall built to three high so this just follows the contours of that so you just build the back wall up and then you can build the side walls up to the same as the deck now so, so the deck sort of determines how high the walls are going to be so, so you put your deck in and then you put the side walls in and you can see the side walls now the same height as the deck so that's how that is I'm using the deck as the marker now because uh, it's easier than using cryptic notes which I tend to use and there we go there's our deck done there or wall deck houses and then you just fill in the deck like so so just fill in the deck like this and there we go there's our deck done there and then on the front front of the deck house build across a wall like so and then five down the side one two three four five one two three four five so just add the wall around like that and there's that deck house I'm gonna add a few doors and windows now put a door front and then a window how many windows did I do one two three three windows so window every fourth block one two three four one two three four window and then another door like that there you go and just do the same the other side so I put a put a door there and then a window one two three four window one two three four window and then a door there we go <coughs> so there's our deck house done like that and then too bad the tug is taking shape and I'm quite happy with that so I'm gonna do another jump cut now I'm gonna work out what to do and then we should move on so uh, back in a moment okay back again so now we're going to work on the ship's funnel which is the big blue thing there and this funnel is going to be very basic it's not going to be any slant or anything it's just going to be a straight up cylinder so if we go to the back of the second deck house and i'm going to build mine in blue because you can build yours in any color you want i'm just doing mine because forley uh, forley town what was it forley town forley village football club it's their colors um so we're going to go on the back wall back of the deck house we're going to go three blocks forward on the wood so one two three and we're going to build one in the middle and then one one like that and then on the edge go two two so it's shaped like that so one in the middle one each side and then two forward like that and then on the other end you go one 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 like that so it's shaped sort of like a dive look at directly below it's shaped like that so it's or shape like that so it's one 
one each side plus two and then one each side and one in the middle like that so it's sort of a diamond shape and it's on the contours of the deck house as well so that's fine so if we go from the back of the funnel and just build the blue up to the height of 16 high so it's already one high so two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen I just double check that because I did screw up so I just want to make sure it's 16 high in total that's fine and then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Let's build the whole thing to 16 high. Like so. There we go, there's the final build up, and then around the top, you're just going to replace the top line with white. Like so, this of course, this is the final design that I've cho chosen to do. You don't have to copy it, you can do your own thing. There you go, and then five blocks down from that, one, two, three, four, five, do the same again. So add on the white ring around a rosy, like so. And there we go, there's our funnel. It's, uh, thing you've done there and then for the yellow and blue insignia all I do is just get hold of the yellow terracotta which is what I have and then we just add a yellow block and a yellow block like that so it's basically that that's the insignia just two yellow blocks so do the same on the other side like that there's our funnel insignia done like that and then for the whistle I basically just put two wood wood fence posts one on the yellow white stripe there and one just above it like that and there you go there's the funnel done marvellous isn't it and there we go so that's that job done there a few more details around the front we're going to add a mech to the front so this is just a, a, a combination of black blocks so just a few blocks forward of the superstructure so if we go one two three three blocks forward of the superstructure we'll add three pairs or three rows of two like that and then join them together across like that so it creates the mech like that and then we can add uh, it's trying to work out if we add handrails now handrails go all the way around so we get our handrails and then you can go the full all the way around the ship so we put handrails around the edge from the white blocks on the front all the way around the ship like so and that's be that's be usually if, you, if you're familiar with my builds you'll know I don't like having the, the handrails on the uh, on the wood, so underneath the handrails, I just replace them with black blocks. Like so, and this goes all the way around to the back of the ship. I don't normally put the handrails on just yet, but why not? So just put our handrails on all the way around, like so. Replace the wood with the black, like so, and then go all the way down to the back end of the ship, like so. put the handrails curved back inwards and put the handrails on the black block like so this is like I say this is just a cosmetic thing you don't have to do this is just something I'm very petty with and there we go there's one side of handrail done there and then we do the same on the other side so I just quickly replace the black blocks first and then our handrails like so And there we go, there's our handrails done like that. Marvellous. So the, the tug is definitely taking shape, it looks very much like a tug already. Um, we'll add a few more little details on the front here, we'll add a couple of, a couple of pairs of bollards, so we'll get our anvils. And we'll put a pair of bollards 
just behind the first part of handrail there like that but a pair there and a pair there like that and then another pair a couple of blocks back there and the same the other side like that marvellous that's pretty much all the bow detail done and then we could add handrails around the main uh, top deck as well so just get our handrails again put our handrails around this thing like so and across the back as well I may as well And there we go. There's our handrails done there like that. Marvellous. There's only a few more details to go on, but uh, I'll do another jump cut now while I work out what they are. You can see most of them, but uh, the, the tug is definitely taking shape, so I'm going to do another jump cut and then we shall move on. So, uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So, what we're going to do now is work on the ship's cranes, which go behind the main superstructure. Uh, depending which variant of the, of the of a tugboat you're building, you may not need these cranes, but uh, as I'm building this spec, you will. Uh, we're going to go from the edge of the deck house, so the back of the deck house is here, and we're going to go to the third block back from the corner, so we'll go one, two, three back, and then one in to that block there, so it's three back, one in, and do the same on the other side, so three back, one, two, three, one in, so there's where your cranes begin. And the cranes themselves are 13 high, so Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Plus a block back. Same the other side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and one back like that. One forward. And then for the crane arm, go to the third block up. So one, two, three. And building back, you want seven rows of two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and one of them is black like that, there we are, so you've got a black stripe there and then same the other side, so third block up, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 rows of 2 and then black in the end like that, there you go, there's your two cranes now between the two cranes on the prototype I've got three containers which are sort of storage things so what I did with those, we go to the back of the deck house, we're going to go to the sixth block back on the wood, so one, two, three, four, five, six, make it seven, and then I put three containers. I build these ones in yellow because the ones over there are in green, so these ones are going to be uh, seven wide, so it's one in the middle plus three that way, three that way, and they're two blocks long and two blocks high. They're basically just rectangles like that, so seven wide. Two on the side, two on the line on uh, same on top. So there you go. And then you just want three of these. So leave a single block gap, and then build the same again. Like that. So there's your two containers, and then the same again. Another gap, and then same again. And there you go. There's your three containers. You can probably put a few more on if you want to. They're just there. You know, shits and giggles, I suppose. And then we are going to add the lifeboat, which is a big old lifeboat, which is seen on pretty much every ship I do. And we're going to go from the back of the deck, back of the ship here. We're going to go on the deck. We're going to go about four blocks forward. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to put a black base like that, which is three blocks wide. And then we're going to begin the keel of the lifeboat. So put the first block of the keel like that, and the keel is. 13 long, so that's one, and then build forward two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then put the other base like that so the lifeboat is suspended. And then for the lifeboat, it's going to be just basically at the end, build two and then one like that. The other end, two back and one, and then we just try and build a lifeboat out of that. It's going to be very, very vague design. I normally do. And then two out, two out, two out, two out. Like I say this is a very vague lifeboat. If you're familiar with my builds, you know how crap these lifeboats are. And I've already screwed up one side already. There we go. Then we just cover the top up.
like that. And then last job for that lifeboat is to add a cover, which I'll put in red. For whatever reason, the prototype is blue, so I'll do red here. There we go, so there's a lifeboat done there. We can add a few more bollards on the deck as well, so we get our bollards again. The lifeboat's all done quickly, so I just quickly look at that. There's the lifeboat looking pretty crummy. And then either side, roughly in the gap here, you can put a pair of ding dings there. Like that, so there's two more bollards like that. And uh, that's pretty much it for the top. So what I'm going to do now just go underneath. Um, and we can add our propellers and rudders. I'll do the rudder first. I use cobblestone wall for this, so cobblestone wall. And we'll add three hinges. So I'll put the bottom one on the keel, so one, and then two, and then three. So three hinges like that. And then the rudder is going to be two at the bottom like that. And then up six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the other row will be five. One, two, three, four, five. And there we go, there's our rudder like that. Very, 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 very basic. And then for the propellers, um, I use sandstone for these. So we get our sandstone blocks and sandstone stairs because they're going to be sort of a, a star shaped sort of thing. So for the for the propellers, you're going to go from the keel, back of the keel, and you can go and count the keel as one. So I go one, and it's going to be four up. So one, two, three, four, and then two forward. One, two, and then out four again. So one, two, three and put a sandstone block on the fourth like that and then remove the rest of the block like that. So there's the keel, um, there's your propeller center and then with the with the red just build forward to blend in with the rest of the hull like that. So then you, now your propeller is attached. And using stairs we can build a sort of star. So on the, on the top to put stairs on the top, stairs on the bottom, stairs underneath and then stairs on the other side and you just got to jiggle them a bit to get them the right way around because because they're a bit of a there we go so you can sort of see your stairs all, f all facing sort of the same way but upside down from each other sort of a star shape sort of there nothing really special and then put a single block between the propeller shaft and the rest of the ship to join it all up like that um, so yeah, how far back? Like that's one, two, three forward of the propeller, and put a block there to, to attach it. So I'll quickly do the other side as well. So it's count the keel as one, two, three, four up, and then one, two, forward, one, two, three, four out. Remove those blocks, and then use the red like so. And then the propeller itself is stairs on the top. Stairs underneath. Try and get these the right way around. Stairs and then stairs for the st sort of vague star shape. And then one, two, three. Red block there. And there we go. There's our propellers done. They don't look much at the moment because they are a bit crummy. They're a bit crappy, but I'm trying to. Actually, they're not the right way around, are they? Uh, which ones need to be changed? I think it's. That one. Nope. There we go, that's better. So now they're all the right way around. So I just did the same the other side, it was this one causing the problem. Yeah, there we go. They still don't look great, do they? But. <laughs> They'll have to do. Bug it. So yeah, there's our propellers done. It. Yeah, it depends how you look at them. They do look reasonable. You just gotta. I'm not trying to fiddle and fart around with them really. But they're on there anyway, so there's that propeller's done. And that is pretty much most of the ship done. There's one more job to do which goes between the two cranes. I did forget this one, but I'm just gonna go back and do it now. It's sort of a joining part between the cranes. I use quartz slabs for this one. And let's quickly look at the prototype. So what we're gonna do if we go about Seven from the top, uh, seven from the bottom, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the top of that build, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across in slabs. And then go above that in one, 
one block above go one two three four five six seven like that and put a block in between in the middle like that and then using fence spruce or birch fence whichever put a little antenna in the middle so go up one no, it's just not going to work is it how's that no oh, i know what i've done to replace the slabs with blocks that would work wouldn't it there we go and then use quartz yeah so there's your design and then on the top just go one two three and one out one out like that between the two cranes and there you go <laughs> there we go that, that, that'll have to do sort it there you go that is that is the tugboat done and I'm quite happy with that, it did look pretty good. I've done, managed, managed to do that one on one video, I'm quite happy with how that turned out as well. It's just all done within, I think it's under an hour or just over an hour. About four hours recording time, but there we go. And there we go, there's our tugboat done, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Like I said, there are different variants as well. If, um, if you look at the prototype, uh, not the prototype, you look at the preview video of the, of the Forley tug, you'll see that there are different specifications. Just different layouts on the back of the ship, because like I say, the back here, this is basically a, an open source area now you can do what you like with it because this is the, the, this is the main area that was different on the different tugboats you can take away the cranes and have another deck here you can have more storage and things it all varies on what you can do change the color do what you like but uh, that is my tug done that's the Foley tug and as per usual if you want to build this thing as part of a scenery or project or video or whatever then don't forget for a mention where you got it from then I'd appreciate that um, but overall that is me done for this year 2022 is all done and the 40 tugboat is done the next tugboat I'm going to do will be the is it the Appleton Hall something like that it'll be, a, it'll be the one with the paddles on it and that will be sometime during 2022 but the next tutorial will be the SS Rex and uh, we'll go from there but that's the tugboat done and uh, there I'm quite happy with that. So this is me, Rich, signing off, logging off and disappearing. And I shall return with another tutorial very soon. So uh, bye everyone. Happy Christmas. Happy New Year. And see you soon in 2023. So bye for now.